like how we were just like, all right. Hey guys. What is up guys? My name is Julia and today I'm here with girlfriend. Girlfriend. <laughs> this is Marissa. She's been on this channel so I don't know why I'm doing like a I'm super... not like new. Yeah. So that's like offensive. <laughs> yeah but like we've kind of noticed that we've been together for like over a year and a half and we've never really done like a sit down video together. That's 10 years in <laughs> So we figured we should probably do the girlfriend tag. I'm super excited. Yeah, we always wanted to do these. I watch these. I'm jealous of these and and tweet. So <laughs> okay, so I went online for questions, and we're not gonna do all of them because there's like a hundred. The first one is when, where, and how did you meet? Should I answer this? I don't actually know any of these. She hasn't briefed me. I haven't. Oh, the questions yet. Yeah, now have not reviewed I, I thought you the, the answers. I was like, what do you mean? You I don't, don't have the. the I don't have the answers. Okay, so we met at school senior year. We had a class together. We also like we've had classes together prior to that, but we never talked. Mm -mm. We both were a part. Of the TV station never talked. Thanks. We met because we both took the world shittiest animation class. We were taught by this guy that like worked on the movie The Monster House and like oh I forgot about that and like the Polar Express but he was like knew nothing a jackass so thanks to him for bringing me not an education and a girlfriend so yeah what were your first impressions of each other okay i want i'll just i like I'll, hated I'll get, that like side like oh. I'll, I'll get mine out of the way first i thought you were kind of weird crazy because, because <laughs> she like really like i said i knew really nothing about her besides just weird short films that like i've seen you act in in like previous they're not film like classes. they weren't like short films they were like i was like, like sketch comedy like, yeah, you were just being like dumb and funny. So, like I already knew you were dumb. like dumb. <laughs> I already First knew impression. you were dumb. No, I already knew you were pretty funny, but I don't know. Pretty was in there. Pretty funny. You let on a little strong because I was sitting down in class and she just swooped in was like, hey girl, like, and sat right next to me and I was like. I... <laughs> I sat down, I was friendly, I was kind. I offered you my all of my breakfast food. Yeah, that literally was literally everything weird. I had. I I the last I could have like taken off like my jacket and said, "Here, take it." Anything. Yeah. Be my friend. I honestly, I just wanted you to be my friend at first and then yeah. you uh, you uh, you were cute. So. Well, I wanted you to be my friend too, but you also like never came to class. I so didn't. I, didn't I always come to class. I took that to personal offense when she wouldn't come to class. I'd be like, yeah, no, she does. Well, she does as not much like as I me. like liked her, I like still didn't like a hundred percent like school. So like. <laughs> Who first asked the other out? Like on a date or like to, to be we, it was like a, it was like a mutual date. Yeah. We went to Chipotle. Yeah. It was like a fundraiser thing. I was just like, hey, you wanna go? And it was like I think you previously not blown me off, but was always like, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. You, you were a busy bee back then. I was a busy bee. I was very excited. It was the first time like I like put it on like my Snapchat. I was like, oh like Oh yeah, Chipotle. here, insert the picture. We didn't I don't think picture. we knew it was a date though. It, we definitely didn't know it was a date. Can we go to the next question? Yeah. Okay. That was the next question. Where was your first date? Oh, Chipotle. Chipotle. <laughs> well, or, that's so sad. I don't even consider that a date. If we're going real dates, do you want to talk about how? Oh. <gasps> Are we thinking about the same thing? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> She's from Ohio, and I'm from Pennsylvania. So once we started liking each other she it reciprocating feelings to me it happened to be winter break so we had to meet in the middle somewhere to hang out over winter break <gasps> oh that, that no i was thinking well i guess a little bit i was thinking about the time we went to the tree yeah, yeah. this is the same night but like i i totally forgot about like so oh, the whole yes so we end up meeting yeah. to go watch a movie together and then the movie ended and we were like so now what and yeah. we very like spontaneously spontaneously yeah, spontaneously yeah. went to the city. Like, yeah, we went to Pittsburgh and we went to the tree and then we did it the next year and I'm hoping to go this year. Aww. I think it'd be really cute. We did a, like a serious glow up. Who was the first to verbally say I love you? Me? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this made her so mad. We were lying in bed and uh, we were trying to go to sleep and oh, yeah. I, what did I, I was like, I was like, like I, something to tell I just you. wanted to tell you like, cause like I, I had almost said it like. We'd only been dating for like one week. Like a Oops dating for one Oops. week. We've been kind of like intimate, I guess. That sounds weird. We kissed like a month before we dated. Um, Like officially. Yeah, we were 
I was laying there and I was like, shit, like I have to do it now because like I like am a Pisces and like if I hold it in. It's my season. It's my season. <laughs> she got mad. She was like, what Marissa, what? Yeah, cause you were What just... do you have to tell me? And I was like, I was like, I think I love you. <laughs> I was like, oh. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Like with that response that I got, I was like, oh. Sorry, but I had almost accidentally said it one time literally like before we were even like yeah so Even I kissed I, I was I, like bye. I love <laughs> I, th I think it's so over it's like overrated. It is it being a big deal. Yeah, it, I don't think it is I don't no. think it's a weird thing to love someone. No, but I do. I love you. I love you. Mm, don't touch me Okay, <laughs> do you want to tell the story of our first kiss? No, I want you to tell it. It's not like PG-13. It's actually very like G. G. <laughs> rated G. Basically, I had been like staying at her house. You were a very busy person because she was like yeah. head honcho of the TV station. So the only time we really could hang out was at like night. So I stayed over your house and we'd like stay up till like 2 a.m. talking every single night. We don't do that anymore. No. <laughs> she won't talk to me for more than 15 minutes at a time. <laughs> <laughs> and once it hits like a certain time, I'm like conked out. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know. Just one night we kind of. We were. It was just like. Muggling. It was like who's like gonna do it? Who did it first? I think I did. When's your anniversary? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Well, January. January. Six. January 6, 2018. How long have you guys been together? So that would be like a year and like seven months. A year and eight months. I think it's a year and eight months. Who are either of you out before becoming a couple? Look at that. Is it on their real? Oh my God. <laughs> Whatever. Wait. I'll say it this way. Okay. <laughs> Which also kind of leads um, into the next question of, of either of you ever dated a girl. Cause I did date someone before her, but it was a very weird like half out kind of thing because no one really liked her. So I just kind of kept it under wraps. I knew I had started to come out. It was like a hit or miss with some people. Some people were like, hell yeah. And then some people were like- Like friends? Yeah, some friends were like, hell yeah. yeah. And and then like some like I thought were friends were like hell no. And then friend wise, everyone was always super supportive. Family took a little longer, but I think we should like save these details <laughs> for like a video we might ever want to do down the road talking about our coming out stories. I definitely ruined Christmas for my mom that year. Yeah, she <laughs> she's fine now, but like. It sucked that year, but like it was fine. Yours wasn't. It was hard temporary. For very no, it wasn't. Long. It wasn't hard. I'm very blessed. Were you friends before becoming a couple? Yeah. Yeah. We were friends for like two months, and then we started becoming really close friends, and then we became like lovers. Really close. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Who says that? Taylor Swift. <laughs> what is a typical date night for you? Thursdays. Thir Thursdays. No. Lately, our date nights because like now that we're together and like we're adults who like yeah. make enough like money to do things like that we want to yeah. do. We do a variety of things. Like we just, I just moved here, so we've been kind of exploring. Like yesterday, we tried to go to a baseball game. It got rained out. We've gone to a couple breweries. We went to a couple gay bars. We like to eat. We I'm like a big to, foodie. Like, Follow my food Instagram. A foodie, but. She, we also like to try like IPAs and stuff. So yeah, like definitely like drinking and like trying new places. And that leads into do we live together? Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> Are you friends with any other same sex couple? No, we do not have an exclusive LGBTQ group, unfortunately. So we're looking. Submit your application. applications. <laughs> we live in Cleveland, Ohio. It's definitely not as easy as like LA would probably be. So no. they didn't have the L word set in Ohio for a it was reason. not. All of the characters are corn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Have you ever mistaken the sisters? <gasps> yeah, once. Wait, really? Yeah, once when we were at a, like a, we were traveling home or something and like I don't remember this. We went to like a Wendy's or a McDonald's. <gasps> Oh my god, on our way home from New York. Yeah, yeah. it was in Wendy's. And the guy was like, you guys are He so like came pretty. up to our table just to ask sisters? us. sisters? And I was like, no. I totally forgot about that. I don't think we look alike. No, we don't. Have you ever experienced any discrimination or prejudice? Yeah, um, on her sex? birthday, we went Wait. to a steakhouse. Oh and my god, he, that guy was The waiter gay. was so rude. <laughs> I think it was because we were was young so and we went to like a really fancy steakhouse and we had a gift card and like it just, We didn't eat steak. The cards were not, yeah, we didn't eat steak. The, the cards weren't in our They weren't in our favor. <laughs> I would say the only time was, remember the one time we were at the mall? We were holding hands and like a guy kind of like, like holding his girlfriend's hand or like hugging her kind of like pulled her aside closer. Cause and she like was gonna like, catch it. <laughs> Achoo! You're gay now. Oh <laughs> like, no. Did he look at you? There was like an exchange of emotions. Who usually pays when you go out? We're pretty good about it being I think even, we are pretty good. but usually me. <laughs> 
What's your girlfriend's number labeled as in your phone? So we're not teenagers and have like babe or like the GF, but we do put emojis next to each other. My yeah. emojis for her are circling, pink hearts, rainbow, peach, parrot. <laughs> what am I? I added a new one recently. Wait, really? It's rainbow flag, heart with arrow, angel, and crab. She's crabby. I did see that the other day. There was a question here, but I don't think I picked it. it that was like, what pet name do you guys call each other? And I would say crab is mine. Crab. Who is more likely to cook a meal? Well, 50-50. Whenever we moved in, I was like, oh, I'll like handle lunches, you handle dinners because of the way like our work schedules line up. But I mm -hmm. think it's kind of been flipped. Who is more likely to cry for no reason? It's me. Moving Pisces. on. I'm a Pisces. Yeah. I can't help it. I know. I definitely like, okay, I definitely did not think horoscope are real until I really know what Pisces are and I know what Virgos are and like man did we like hit the nail on the head. Who's your girlfriend's favorite musical artist? Of are yours? we talking about like all time or like right now? Yours is 21 Pilots, obviously. That's like easy though. I would say yours like all, your all time is Tame and Paula. Yeah. Okay but what about like right now? Um, I think yours is The Wallace. Probably The Wallace. What would be my favorite right now? Okay I got I got a first in my head. Charlie? Ooh good second. Lizzo? No. Ari. Yeah. I figured it was Ari, but like I just wanted to give you That's like, I know it's like real mainstream, but yeah. Yeah. What do you argue slash fight about the most? Everything. We have small, I would say call them arguments. I don't, don't think we've ever fought because fighting to me is something where like you don't talk for like a long, yeah. like an extended period of time. Yeah. She She's like crabby. She gets like angry about like stupid stuff. We never like scream at each other. We yeah, never we've scream never at each screamed other. At, no. at each other. When I say like not talking for a while, like obviously it sometimes goes to like take a step back so things don't get elevated but yeah no we've never screamed at each other we usually don't go to bed mad at each other we just go to bed tired <laughs> we go to bed tired it's literally crabby. Crabby. <laughs> okay well how do you get over an argument fight fight more <laughs> <laughs> this is so true, but I would say ideally, I would say it's to admit like some False. of your wrongs. Yeah, we and usually own up to our stuff, even if we don't want to. Yeah. We usually do. Does your girlfriend have an angry and well, like, do they have like a stare? Do I have like a stare when you know I'm annoyed? With you, you kind of like start marching out because usually your annoyedness is like because the house isn't clean. You start marching around. You're like, I just don't understand why it's so hard. <laughs> On average, she takes longer getting ready to go somewhere. Me. It's me. So you. I mean, I think it's because like I have a routine down and like yeah. I don't have like It's also easy because she doesn't like, I like change my clothes. I like do my makeup and like I have to plan you, it all out. You completely. She's not patient. I think it's because like I have a set vision. Like for example, this video, like I knew I wanted to wear this. Like, so that's why I did. And like, I make sure ahead of time, like I have it ready. Whereas you like, you kind of change your mind a lot. I do. I need yeah. to mind. Who's the better gift giver? Listen, I, get, I gave you some pretty nice stuff, but I did like mess up V-Day real bad but the thing is is that end up being my favorite gift the calvin klein bag it's not that you ruined valentine's day let me put it this way she sent me because we were long distance during this valentine's day boo and you got me one of my like favorite things ever she got me this really nice calvin klein like book bag and i use it all the time now that like i have a job but you also sent me back like my own clothes Yes, I did. Like all the way to California. Laundry day. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. What did I get you? I got you the Kim Kardashian perfume. And I got you the like, candy to math. What else have we gotten each other in the past? I recently got her shoe organizers and she doesn't like them. I like them, but she made it very clear all summer that she was going to get me a hydro flask. And then she ended up getting me beauty blenders. For... For yourself. I think when it comes to actually the gift giving process, I think I'm better at like wrapping, card, bag, choosing, and Julia's good at the contents that are in. Yeah, cause bag. like whenever we got each other stockings, <laughs> stockings like were good. yours were good, but like mine, I made sure that they were all like Christmas themed where you got me like the like box, like movie theater candy, which like wasn't, it was the same thing, but I just like, I like a good theme. It's another horrible qu question. <laughs> Who's more likely to save or spend money? Ah. I'm financially responsible. I'm also there. I paid out that credit card today. Yeah, good job. High five. Adult. PDA. <laughs> Stop. I like to spend money though just as quickly because I did this week buy me two things from Supreme as well as a new iPhone. So yeah, I just want to dress her. Does your girlfriend collect anything? Plants. I collect plants and Julia collect like 21 Pilots merch and like, just like in general, like merch, like she likes like CDs and, and shit and movies and 
Disney's things. <laughs> and shoes. <laughs> I know because I always joke like I don't like your plants, but I'm like telling you to get rid of your plants would be like you telling me to get rid of my shoes. Donate your shoes. Yeah. Dum dum. <laughs> yeah, because like I don't obviously do not wear like there's a lot of them in there like I still haven't worn yet. Have you ever taken a vacation or holiday together? If so, where? We were just talking about this. Yeah, we actually were. Uh, when we only knew each other for 48 hours, we <laughs> took a, a cross country trip to California. No, we were, had only been dating. So we knew each other, I think we counted like six months. We yeah, knew each other. Solid half a year. But, but we'd only been dating for two and a half. And for spring break our senior year, we went to California together, which is so crazy that we it was like, crazy. we it was just were like, yeah, let's time, do it. Which you can watch. We on made channel. three vlogs three on this vlogs. channel. Julia like whipped them up in the kitchen and they're really good. Okay, here's the lightning round. Let's try to do this before the camera dies. Okay. Who is more likely to spontaneously be romantic? Me. Whose laugh is cuter? Yours. Who is the better driver? You. Who's the better singer? I... Mm, I don't know. Who's the better dancer? Me. <laughs> better at math? You. Whose handwriting is better? Mine. Who's a better sense of humor? Mine. Yeah. Aww. You're funny. I love you. Oh, okay. Cute. <laughs> Does your girlfriend drink alcohol? If yeah. so, what is her drink of choice? <gasps> oh, you do. And your favorite drink right now is either the Raspberry uh, White Claw Good IPA or um, a classic like Amaretto Sour. So. Amaretto Sour is definitely like our drink, but it's, it's drink. very sugar loaded. It's so I've been Only going... what's going to be served at the wedding. <laughs> yes, at our wedding. Ah. <laughs> so that is one of the questions that we talked about marriage. <laughs> Um, on day one, are you in it to win it? <laughs> your drink of choice. Lately, you've been doing like white claws. Like we follow, yeah. we follow whatever like the other person's Seltzer's getting, but you've also been getting like vodka Red Bull lately. Yeah. Is it because you're tired? It's, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your girlfriend's biggest celebrity crush? We even kind of just talked about that. I don't really have any. Shay Mitchell, of course though. So. <laughs> oh my God, yes. <laughs> That's why I picked this one. I was like, oh, the Shay Mitchell, even though she has a kid and Mm -hmm. What is the most romantic thing you've your girlfriend has ever done for you? The most romantic thing was we went out on Valentine's Day. Our first one. We've only first had Valentine, two. Yeah. Yeah. And we went like all the way to my hometown to see a movie. Don't know why because we could have went closer. I had like plans to like take you to like like a, one of my hometowns. We went to Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> <laughs> I had plans to take you to like this really nice restaurant. Yeah. And then we ended up eating wings. It was weird. Yeah, that was a weird balance. I'm thing. sorry. We got uh, each other cute gifts though. We did get really cute oh, gifts. Yeah. But I came home and I didn't even realize you had got me like bouquet of roses. And I had no idea until we came home. Or wait, did I know before? Or I don't know, but I definitely snuck into the house to like set them there. Very wholesome. Yeah. That was a good gift. I got her, I like made her a uh, sign. Uh, and then I also got her tickets to Lil Xan because the sign is a Oh, it was so perfect. <laughs> and then I got her Skittles because that all ties in. Like, yeah, that was a You could just like do the math yourself. Yeah. Just figure it out. <laughs> That's when I want it. Oh, what about for Yeah. Um, the most romantic thing I think you've ever done for me was fly out to California. Three times. times. I lived in California for seven months and Sad. she came out three times. You were only gonna come out <sighs> twice and then it ended up being three or I don't know. So I would say that because I just think that like, obviously that's not saying because it was expensive, it was romantic, but I yeah. just thought it was really nice that you like were willing to come out that many times. Cause I only came home twice. Yeah. I was only gonna come home once. The other one was like spontaneous, but yeah. I think we're gonna do a video where we talk about like our time being long distance. Cause like mm -hmm. seven months is like pretty long. It was a long time. Yeah. And it was hard. <laughs> Be on the lookout for that video later yeah. in life. What is one item on your girlfriend's bucket list? Like, what do oh, you think is oh. something on my bucket list? Like, because I think we've talked about things we wanted to do. I know you want to. Mm, oh, I I lost it. You want to go to this place in Europe? I forget. Uh, in Greece. Is it Greece? Was it Greece? I think so. We don't know each other. <laughs> I guess like people always think bucket list always means going somewhere. It doesn't have to be, but like what's something on my bucket list? I can think of something and it's 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 um stupid. No, it's purchasing something. Like what is one the one thing I want to purchase before I die? Oh a Tesla. She wants a Tesla. Yeah. But that's like so like that's gonna become like the norm in like a few years. Yeah, like, that we'll is be true. like, oh why were we so worried about that? Yeah, that's I feel like in our lifetime that'll be attainable. Yeah, I mean it's an expensive car, but it's not like that expensive. Yeah. It's like the price of maybe like two cars. She doesn't know money. <laughs> How much is a, a banana's five dollars? <laughs> so I'm singular banana. <laughs> 
I, I do want to travel. Definitely Greece though. I know Greece was in my mind because Mamma Mia. Here we go again. Where's one place I'd want to go? I've, <laughs> I've definitely said places. I really want to go to England. It, I think it'd be cool to go to like a different Disney. I really want to go to Tokyo, so I feel like Tokyo Disney would just. It'd be fun. Yeah. We want to go I'm places. I'm educating you on myself right now. I thought this is supposed to be a how much do you know me. I love my, my Julie. <laughs> Be honest. What is one thing about me that you don't like? She is so crabby all the time. We talked about this, I feel like, like throughout the video. And yours is just how like neat. I just like you to live are. an organized life. And I do too. I really um, do like it, but sometimes it can wait. I actually love hate this. When you like flare your nostrils up. <laughs> She like I know like the storms are brewing. <laughs> that's the that's the face. <laughs> it's like uh oh danger. Is there anything about me that you think most people don't know? I describe Julia as like a Heath bar Klondike bar. So you're gonna like, say most people don't know how big of a crab I am. Yeah. You're not um, gonna talk about hardworking I am. She is. Or... She is the most creative, hardworking person I know. But like Thank like you. we all know that. But like some people don't know how like tedious you are and like how like detail oriented you are like with your work and, and stuff like I see it I'm exhausted the amount of times like you'll edit something post it take it off edit something post it take it off like it you just it, you're really detail oriented and it, it's mentally and physically exhausting I can tell on you so like I, chill the fuck out <laughs> <laughs> so please take it easy I think yours is like the opposite I think a lot of people think you're like a very like fun outgoing like really like loud person which you are but like you're actually like also like kind of quiet like you you like like a nice house like with your plants and like everything to just be like a small like, cottage like, on the hill. Like some ASMR. Like, I don't I don't like ASMR. It annoys me, but like yeah, I like my quiet. I think people don't realize how much you like enjoy like simple Silent. simple things. Like we definitely are very go go go. Like I've been here for only a month and I've done more here than I feel like I did in like the seven months I did in California. But it's because it's like easy it's easy when you're I have, with someone. It's easy when you're with someone and like you have like the means to go out and do things and like not mm -hmm. feel like guilty about it. This is the last one. Pass on one piece of advice of relationship advice. I would say enjoy like the time you like have like in the beginning because like those are like the memories that you really remember you know like yeah, I think about like are the very first yeah. things that we ever did like together so like taking advantage and like especially when you're like in college if you're yeah. in a relationship in college like definitely have so fun enjoy it it's so nice yeah enjoy going out getting drinks hang out with your friends hang out with your girlfriend enjoy relationship it. advice in general you don't have to be gay for this but like don't apologize for anything because I feel like we live in a day in life where people get very jealous really easily and stuff like that I feel like sometimes like people go to friends and like say oh yeah me and my significant other or maybe you know like we had we had a tough time the other day like yeah. a lot of people's first instinct is break up with them break up break up but not like, like the best advice like I feel like being supportive and really like sticking it out sometimes yeah is, also if you have friends that are like super shitty and like say like hate to break it to you like you're gonna break up like like don't like that. don't like listen to that because it's, it's just yeah. that like really yeah. sucks so i would say not good advice like, it's not like you being a good friend like if that person's in like a bad relationship to say it another way it's like i don't know just like support your friends and yeah. like Be let them love like what they want let them do what they want to do like yeah. basically just yeah. like be just unapologetic be nice in yeah. your relationship because only you know only you and your yeah. partner know like what's good for you i've just heard like multiple times like xyz why it won't work and then like it works and then so. abc uh it did oh oop. <laughs> it's okay uh our battery's gonna die for the 10th time thank you guys so much for watching this video we want to do more like lgbt videos on this channel um yeah. like we mentioned a couple already in the video so please subscribe if you want to stick around more for that we also have a vlog channel together which is kind of more like raw it's mellow stuff yeah like unedited yeah. like various stuff so uh, that'll be linked below and um, artistic yeah thank you guys for watching oh, bye okay. Bye. I love you. Oh, I love you. Yeah. My right. crab. Bye. Bye. You should try to turn it off with your foot. Here, I'll hold it down. No, we're gonna go ahead. <laughs> that's it. That's that's the end of the video.